Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a functionality called one time vendor. Before I talk about one time vendor in system, I would like to talk about what is one time vendor and what is the purpose of it. So one time vendor, you know, the vendor from whom the company will purchase for the first time only. There is no such requirement to buy, you know, further material or service, you know, in future. So that is the reason it is a one time vendor because this is the only one time purchasing from that vendor. So for one time vendor, what we have in the system, like I mentioned, this is only for the first time. So there is no such requirement, you know, to spend a lot of time to create a vendor data, maintain vendor data rigorously, and then create a purchase order after creating the vendor. That is no such requirement. For that, Dynamics 65 has a functionality called one time vendors specifically. For that, <coughs> under accounts payable parameter, under general in vendor tab, there is a for there is a field called one time vendor account. You know, many people think this if we add this vendor number here and every data uh, for the one time vendor will be added in this vendor, but that is not the case. This one time vendor account selected here, it will work as a template to create the one time vendor automatically. Means as and when the one time vendor requirement is there, system will system will consider this as a template and create the vendor automatically while creating the purchase order. We have another possibility in number sequence. Say a company wants to bifurcate a now one time vendor number sequence, you know, separate number sequence. So for that also you can use this number sequence. So that in future, whatever the vendor number is there, you can easily bifurcate that based on the number sequence, different number sequence that these are the one time vendor account. So here I have configured it as a one time vendor account. I will show you what is the format of the one time vendor account. So this is the OTV and five alphanumeric. So whenever the one time vendor will be created, this number sequence will be used. Let's see the demo. So like I mentioned, we will not create the vendor. Suppose we are you now company is in need to create a purchase order for one time vendor only. What they will do? They will come to the purchase order form and then they will create a purchase order as per the normal procedure. But before selecting the vendor account, they will click on our company or you need to select this one time vendor then you will notice this option will automatically fill up as vendor account. So this is the new vendor account uh, Dynamic system is creating. And here only you will, you will give a name of this vendor, say, you know, uh, Hotel Hill John. You can add contact, add contact. Okay. Okay. And then, and then, if you would like to select the site as per your normal process, you can select site, warehouse and everything. And if you click OK, you will notice purchase order will be created. Now we will notice the purchase order has been created. We can, you know, uh, create the purchase order, confirm, receive an invoice. I will not do that because I wanted to show you that a function at a one time vendor. So. If I go to header, you will notice the vendor account is this, which has been created automatically. And there is one time the supplier marker has been added by the system. If I go to this, you know, vendor, which has been created automatically by the system. If you want to take a look, how this looks like, see, this is the name which we have given in the purchase order only. And that vendor account has been created. If I enter or go into this vendor, you will notice this group 10 some default data are coming okay and then if you go to vendor profile you will see one time vendor marker has been added while you know system has created this from the purchase order terms of payment method of payment and everything which is selected here from where these are coming because we did not add it at this while creating the purchase order these are all, these all are coming from the accounts payable parameters. One time vendor account you will see 
this is the field we have talked about it is using it is used as a template so if i go into this vendor account you will notice whatever is there in this vendor account system is taking this as a reference like group 10 organization number the default values terms of payment credit card uh, method of payment credit rating everything which has been used in this vendor system will you know taking this as a reference and creating those creating the new vendor based on that reference if i go ahead and create another vendor you will notice a new vendor will be created if i click on new sorry if i click on one time vendor new vendor number will be there and say suppose tata okay and here i will click okay and now you see 009 tata is created if i go to all vendors and you notice the new vendor has been created and say everything from there you do purchase order purchase order receipt no invoicing payment everything you can do but those will be coming under the new vendors respectively for for the first one it will come in hotel hintal mumbai or vendor account the second one it will come under adata and if you want to segregate between normal vendor these are the normal vendors inmf and these are the one time vendor which are we have which, are, which has been created by system automatically while using the one time vendor functionality so that is all about the one time vendor functionality i hope you have learned something new today thanks for watching stay tuned bye for now